therapists use procedural support with children and adults uh, during both minimally invasive and non-invasive medical procedures. Um, and they use music before, during, and after procedures to help decrease distress and increase coping skills. Uh, two of the main types of interventions that music therapists use are musical alternate engagement and music assisted relaxation. Uh, musical alternate engagement includes elements of distraction, but it also includes active coping techniques. Uh, music assisted relaxation includes deep breathing, might include progressive muscle relaxation or guided imagery and entrainment of physiological measures like uh, heart rate, oxygen saturation, respiration rate uh, through music. So one example of music therapy for procedural support would be during an echocardiogram. Uh, it's an ultrasound of the heart, so it's a, a, an image that's taken of the heart using a transducer. And it's not invasive, but for young children it can be very anxiety provoking. They have to sit on a table with their shirt off and they put electrodes on their chest. So music therapists would meet the children before the procedure and explain to them using child-friendly terms what's about to happen. They would engage them in a song, maybe give them an instrument, and walk with them down the hall to the procedure room. Uh, then using successive approximations and music as reinforcement, the music therapist might offer the child another instrument if they sit up on the table, being the next step, and then when they lay down on the table, offer them uh, something new. So the idea is to get their attention uh, focused on different things within the music, different objects, to try to keep them from getting anxious and to keep them focused on the music therapist. The music therapist would stay with them during the entire intervention, um, changing uh, interventions and uh, use of objects as needed to keep the child's attention and um, help stay with them afterwards to keep them calm if they need to or to calm them down if they've become distressed. Sometimes they get through it with very little distress at all and just have a great time. The research on procedural support suggests that if you're looking at the type of music to use it should be the patient preferred music there's no one-size-fits-all uh, music for procedural support. Uh, so it should be individualized to the patient's need. There has been some research that's used recorded music. Uh, it looks like live music is more effective because the music therapist being there can uh, change the music as needed to meet their needs and can do different things to try to keep their attention. Mm -hmm.